Okay, if you want to navigate this rig, it's pretty simple. Uh, all these nulls around the outsides here, uh, they're just driven by rotation. So if I highlight one of these nulls, I hit R, I can uh, rotate by one degree and change the different hands. If you rotate too much, um, the hands will disappear because there's no artwork within that hand comp. So it's a very simple rig. There's only a few hands here. The same goes for the blinks here. You can blink as many eyes as you want here. It goes from open to close. Then we have the um, mouth null here. This has a few more mouths than what the blinks have. Um, so you can do pretty good lip sync with this rig. That's the other. This is the brow here. You can start to deform the brow a bit. Um, these are all uh, pre-made uh, positions in the comp, so you just have to kind of scroll through and uh, choose the brow that you need. So it's a little bit different. It's basically the same as the mouths, but um, it's more of the artworks being deformed uh, by After Effects and not uh, new artwork. Uh, then we have the uh, leg chooser, so we have uh, IK and FK legs, so you're just switching between the two here. So right now if you click the body, you can drag down and he's got I, uh, uh, FK legs, IK legs, I forget which one's which, but here you go. And then if you switch it to the other leg, you'll notice that the, the leg will follow with the body instead, as you can see here. Uh, and then we also have the foot null, so you want to hit R to show your rotation and ro rotate by one or two one degree and just kind of sc uh, scroll through your different legs here but if you go farther than than what the artwork has then it's just going to disappear if you want to animate the arm you can just highlight the arm just find the arm here hit R you can use position or rotation on this null I mean sorry on, on this artwork and you can just grab it move it around uh, you can rotate it and if you notice it, it follows with the body as long as the body uh, you know because it's parented here and you can do the same for the elbow and the same for the hand if you highlight the hand sometimes you might run into a problem where like the the artworks in front of the body and it's just kinda hard to click what you need if you want to right click and then choose your uh, layer that you want to choose here then you can easily find it or you can go down here to the timeline and choose it here and, and show position rotation or whatever you need um, to move it so that's really basically how you how you animate this rig. Make sure that you have keyframes set at the beginning. Otherwise, if you move forward and you start animating, it won't actually set any keyframes here, so you won't actually have any animation. <clears throat> so that's basically how you use it. All right, thanks.